we're going to be unboxing these two beautiful holiday Barbies. And I just wanted to say real quick, um, for anybody who might be confused or wondering, I said in my last video that I had some store credit left when I got these and the um, dolls that weren't in box, that were bagged. How McKay's works is if you get a store credit voucher, you can use it anytime. So if you're there and you get like 20 or $30 and you don't find anything you want, you can just keep it and wait till you find something you do want. So it never expires. It's kind of like a money coupon for their place. So I just wanted to say that so nobody would be confused and be like, what is she talking about? She said she had store credit, but I thought she used it already. You can always use the vouchers. So that's all that's about. I just wanted to say that because I thought that might be a little confusing for people who don't know because I know that not everybody has the same kind of place. So I'm just going to bring her in for a little closer look. You can see her box. It's really pretty, actually. And for her, sorry about the glare, I paid $12.95, which I don't think is too bad. She's the 2011 Holiday Barbie. Her box is really pretty. It just says Barbie Collector at the bottom. It kind of looks Christmassy. Um, not all Christmas dolls' boxes look Christmassy, but that's why I said that. It kind of has like a Christmas vibe to it. I love the artwork on the back of this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It doesn't have a very long sentiment. It just says Holiday Barbie 2011. It says Barbie doll celebrates a favorite season dressed in glamorous green and gold gown. She delivers her best wishes for a beautiful holiday aglow with the most opulent of treasures. Love and joy, family and friends, peace and prosperity. And then down here it says barbiecollector.com. Doll cannot stand alone or be posed as shown. That's funny. <laughs> and does it have? Yeah. I thought it might have all these little, you know, gobbledygook on the bottom. All the warnings and all the things. Let's see. It says 2010 on the bottom. So that's her box, really, really pretty. Love her. And this, she's gorgeous. It says, Winter Fantasy, first in the series, 2003 special edition. I so love that. She's first in a series. It makes me kinda not wanna take her out of the box, but you know, I figured she's been in box jail long enough. I'm gonna get her out set her free holiday visions Barbie this one I paid a little bit more for she was $14.95 but I mean ah uh, I just sorry about the glare but she's just so pretty I couldn't not <laughs> seeing as how I had the extra little bit of money and it says for sit ages six and over Mattel in the corner here the sides are plain And her box, there, you can kind of see now. See how it's see-through? I think that's so cool that you can see her through both sides. I love this box. Down here, it says, Introducing Holiday Visions Barbie, the first doll in our new holiday series. In her winter fantasy ensemble, she is as magical as the dawn after a midnight snowfall. Imagine a glistening winter landscape with a sky brilliant and blue. The sunlight is a gift, transforming snowflakes into gems, covering every tree branch and delicate twig. Inspired by such splendor, her gown glistens in white upon gleaming white and shimmer upon shine. The soft velvety skirt gracefully drapes over glittery white mesh, luxurious faux fur, wraps about her shoulders. The tiara atop her cascading curls sparkles as do the silvery belt. She is truly a vision of beauty for the season. Oh, she's a Hallmark one. It says Hallmark here. Barbie.com. And then it says supporting children. That's what that is in the arts. Celebration Barbie ornament inspired by the winter fantasy. So apparently you can get the ornament too, but I, did, I didn't even know this was a Hallmark Barbie. To be honest I just think she's gorgeous I can't wait to get her out of the box and show you guys 
So there's her box. Both of them are absolutely gorgeous and I'm gonna stop here and debox them from their box jails and come on back and let you see what they look like once they're free. And they're both released from their box jails now. <laughs> let me just say that both of them were unpleasant to get out of the box. I don't know why they put so much gook. Um, this one here, the holiday 2011 was literally like, see, sewn in. She had this thread all around her body and dress and all weaved in through her hair. It was not fun trying to get that loose without cutting her or cutting something vital. I don't know how that they think little kids can get these out of the boxes, you know, without adult supervision. Because <laughs> they would either cut the doll or mess it up or something. But anyway, let's get to it. I'm going to start with this girl over here. The winter fantasy girl. She came with a stand. It says winter fantasy holiday visions Barbie on it. Nice stand. The um the way they had her in the box was very odd. So um I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take this off. You can see the stand is still bent. See how bent it is. Like it's not straight. I bent it back. As much as I could with my hand, I didn't want to snap it, but it was really curved. It was really, really bent over, so it was kind of hard to, you know, deal with. But this one came with a stand. It's pretty nice, a little saddle stand. Um, she was tacked in a million different little places. All these little places sticking out here that you see are all places where they had her tacked in with the little, um, you know, like swift tag tie things which isn't very fun. Fabric will relax over time, not being like that, and I won't have to really do anything to it, thank goodness, but, you know, I, I don't really prefer all those things being, to hold them in. I know they do it for aesthetics so that it'll look pretty, but kind of ruins the fabric in a way. But enough of that. Just look how beautiful she is. Her face to me is absolutely stunning. And she's got little glitters all over. Those aren't beauty marks. Those are glitters from her dress. I thought the one was a beauty mark. But no, it's not. Her face. Oh, my goodness. I don't know what face mold this is. But it's really, really pretty. Very striking. Love the smoky eye with the gradient effect. It's kind of like a dark soft purpley mauve with like a charcoal mixed in really pretty and she has soft like blue gray eyes as well and a really pretty pearly pink lip her earrings are very delicate they're very small they barely look like anything they're little like half moons but they're pretty they're they're subtle but they're pretty to me I'm completely okay with that her crown is kind of nice, not metal like some of the other things, but at least it's, you know, doesn't look cheapy. It kind of looks like metal. And her hair, oh my God, that is the worst case of <laughs> hair I've ever come across. Maybe, maybe the Dynasty doll was worse, but I mean, they're tied because this is so hard. And she has really bad, see how you can see the box hair, how they had it like styled. And it's actually, these little curls are sewn to her outfit, see? You can't pull them off. So, I'm gonna have to figure something out with that. I'm probably not gonna, like I'm going to for the other doll, like, cause I don't wanna mess up her hair. I just really don't like how crunchy it is but you know she's so gorgeous I'm not gonna mess with her I'm not gonna disturb that I just prefer it not to be that way her little um ornamentation down here like belt thing that matches her crown is really pretty this part feels metal but this part doesn't this part feels plastic but the little chain feels metal and the fur is nice the velvet is <laughs> is okay. It's not the best velvet. 
um, I've got some really nice velvet and this is like that crepe velvet fabric. It is lined though, which is nice, but I hate that they do the, there's the little Barbie tag. I hate that they do this. This is such a cheap out, you know, that they leave this. And I know that they do it because it costs less and that for them, because they're not passing that cost less onto us at all. You know, they're not. <laughs> they just want it to cost less for them and for us to feel like it's okay to still keep paying the higher prices, which I don't love, but I got her second hand so I didn't have to pay the exorbitant price. But whoever did buy her new did have to pay that exorbitant price and I feel bad for that. You know, because like I said, there's the quality of this is very, very good. Don't get me wrong. It's an absolutely stunning doll. Absolutely love it gorgeous but you know there are some things that they do cheap out on for us as collectors and things and I just I don't care for that I wish they wouldn't do that that's all I'm saying her shoes are pretty cute they're a little different they have like um, I'm all about the shoes <laughs> they have like a little uh, detailing here on the top and on the sides that I haven't seen on other shoes, and you can see the elastic is coming loose, but I'm not trying to mess with that right now. I'm just trying to hope they stay on her feet. Um, yeah, she's got bend and snap knees. Ooh, see, there goes the shoe. <laughs> it's okay, I can put it back on. This fabric, eh, I thought this was nicer than it is. It's, it's nice, it's just not, I mean, you can tell by feeling it. It's not as nice as some fabrics that are like satiny like this. But all together, it's absolutely gorgeous. And I do really love it. I'm not trying to talk it down or anything. I'm just sad that they don't, you know, give us the quality we deserve for the prices that we pay for some of these things when they're new. Like I said, I know that I bought this second hand, but I wouldn't have paid full price, like 30, 40, 50 dollars for this doll for the quality. Here's our beautiful winter fantasy girl. Absolutely gorgeous. Her hair is kind of like a golden color like a golden blonde if that makes any sense really really pretty she has really really good I don't know how well you can see that but she has really really good blushing just love this doll's eyes and her screening so gorgeous and it says 1991 on her neck and I'm not gonna because this is stitched to her I'm not gonna try and see what it says on her back unless I could do it this way. Let's see. Oh, just barely. 1991 Mattel China. We got it. <laughs> Let me fix it and make it right. Oh, there went her other shoe. <laughs> There's the shoes. I'm just gonna set them next to her. Overall, I do love this doll. I really, really do. She's absolutely beautiful. The only things I don't like is how they cheap us out on not completing the fabric and things and not using nice fabric. And with this one, I mean, they could have put snaps there, you know, or something to get her in and out of this dress so it doesn't have to be a permanent thing, but you know, it is what it is. I really love her and I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't not get her at all. She's really, really gorgeous. And for what I paid for, you know, completely reasonable. But like I said, I wouldn't have paid the 40 or $50 for her new. For the quality of the clothes and the this being only half and whatnot. So pretty though. Really, really pretty. Love the extra detailing on the shoes and stuff. Now for this lovely lady... I have her on a stand of my own because she didn't come with one. This is just a see regular doll stand and I just kind of have her leaned in there so she would stand up so I could show her to y'all. I, I did think it was funny that this one didn't come with any doll stand or anything. She didn't have a certificate, neither did this one. They neither of them came with a certificate. But you know, she's just stunning to me. I love her face. Trying to get it to focus for you. There you go. Really, really pretty. Super gorgeous. Love the sparkle on the eye. It's very subtle. I don't know if you can even see it. 
the little sparkly in her eye makeup is really, really pretty. There was even stays, like she was, this one, it's hard to say which one of these was harder to get out because there was even stays around her um, earrings. This doll, like there was a plastic stay that was like around her and holding me in the earrings. I was like, really? When I tried to take her out, oh, so look at that face, stunning. I love the deep red lip with the green and she has the like sage green eye. I don't know if you can see that that's the color they are, but they are like sage green. Her hair again, really, really crunchy, just like the other one. Her box hair is much worse though. See how flat and plastered it is to her head. It's kind of like a matted mess. So I'm definitely gonna give her a treatment wash her hair out, get all this gook out of her hair, make it pretty, and I'll let you guys see when I do that because, you know, I want my box doll to look like a box doll, but I don't want all this matted, like, mess, you know. I want her to, you know, look as pretty as she deserves to look. This dress, now this dress on the other hand, this fabric on this dress is way nicer. This is quality fabric compared to the fabrics on the other. This is very 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 luxurious this green love this it has velcro at the back so you can actually get her out and what does her back say she's a model muse body obviously she just has some numbers one five eight looks like one one and then on her neck 1991 mattel put that back together See, this does have all the way around the skirt. They didn't cheap out on this one, which is nice. They did um, not fully line it though, but the way that they did it is still nice. And the fabric that they use, like I said, is way nicer on this one than the other. I love the little gemstones here as part of it. I love all the ruching and folding and just beautiful way that they draped this gown this is this is what I mean when I say ball gown I have everything in storage that I've made that's like a ball gown so far that's has anywhere near the quality of this but this is this is what I like to do these really super fancy dresses ball gown dresses are my favorite decadent just one of a kind I love making something out of nothing and I take crazy fabrics like you'll see I'll start doing it here once I get more settled cuz um, like I said if you've been watching my videos you know that a lot of my stuff is in storage but I just absolutely love this gown it's really really beautiful all the detailing and layering and it's all you know lined no cheaping out love this embroidery absolutely gorgeous the way they did this the one shoulder in the halter with all of the detail her nails are painted really really pretty love the nails they match her lips her toes aren't painted though I thought that was funny that her toes weren't painted because they usually are when the hands are painted but this one isn't and she's a model muse body in case you didn't know that already um, the shoes don't fit very well and I don't know if that's because she is a model muse and you know how they're a little funny the way they're standing but I do like the shoes a lot they're really really pretty even though they're plain to me you know just little kitten throw on heels with the peep toe and gold really really cute wish they fit better though absolutely stunning I just love both of them I'm so glad to have both of them in my collection let's see if I can get her to stand up for you guys there we go. I just used this little funny stand because it was handy it's not how I intend to leave her I just wanted her to be able to stand up for you guys so you can see her in the video absolutely gorgeous love them both like I said, the only thing that makes me sad is that they cheap us out on things when, you know, collectors are willing to pay. We really are if the quality's there and if it's something that we really, really want. 
really pretty, both of them. So glad to have them. I, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all my subscribers and a super big shout out to all my new subscribers. I have gained, um, I believe four, four or five since the last time I said anything, could be more, um, but I'm at 20 now. So I know when I first started, I was giddy at six, but I'm so happy to have 20 subscribers. You have no idea. It really does just make me happy. I'm so glad that y'all are responding and loving what I'm doing. So happy to be able to share my collection and all my funny little ideas with you. It's really, 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 really fun. It really is for me. And I'm glad that y'all are enjoying it and loving what I'm doing. So thank you all for that. Thank you so, so much for watching. I have a lot of cool ideas coming up that I'm gonna try and film here for Thanksgiving. I know Thanksgiving is only like two weeks away, but I, I've got at least three ideas planned. So look forward to that. Take care, everybody. Please like and subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you here and fold you into my little world of doll collectors. Have a great day, and I will definitely see you soon with more doll fun and Thanksgiving crafts.